here we are today in the church stunning church that has got a lot of history definitely worth a visit and leave a little donation for them um, definitely worth having a Google as well reading all about all this stuff it is, it's got fantastic history so what am I doing today so we're doing CCTV drain survey mapping out the drain see if there's any defects and we find a few issues now we're also using ground penetrating radar why is that necessary so actually in one part of the drain we actually had loss of vision from say about six meters I think it's roughly about that and we went down to about 16 meters so as you can imagine it was blocked up um, well not blocked up it's actually it's full up with water so as you can imagine that there is then going to back up all the way along all the way along here and it can cause damp issues to the property so without fixing the drainage issues you cannot repair the damp issues and they're never going to go so everything else is never going to be quite good enough so ground penetrating radar why is it so useful today simply because because we had loss of vision i can actually map out the rest of the drain so i actually know where it ends shall we say so you can actually then think about how you're going to do a repair and specify a repair because you know where you're at and also you've got to think about sort of like dare i say there might have been the odd grave dug about here um where there's the, the paupers are buried without headstones so you know you're trying to sort of like get everything as best you can and bang on with the minimum amount of disruption so you can see we've got GPR machine here. I just want to show you on the screen here. If you look down here, you can actually see, I'll just stand here. That is where the drain is. And it's roughly about 0 0.5 meters down um, depth wise. And it basically ends just about here. So normally with churches, you don't have like mains drainage or nothing like that. It's normally onto a soakaway, and basically that is what I think is going on here. There's a soakaway there, and basically it's all blocked up. So you can imagine, look at this, stunning building. Beauty. All that water coming off these roofs. You know, guarantee when you get a lot of these problems with the churches, drainage issues. So hopefully, this bit of mapping out today and some repairs is going to bring everything under control. So this image shows rigid SR20. What I'm doing here, I'm actually checking the direction of the drain. I'm also checking the depth as well. So by using the ground penetrating radar and the camera sond and the SR20, I can be exactly 100% sure everything is right. So if you look in the bottom left hand corner, we're at 15 meters. So this is the soakway, it's completely blocked. The camera head was stuck there. So we're pulling back. This is obviously sped up. And we're roughly now about eight meters and you can actually see 50% of that drain is still full of water. Any defects further on down, it is going to be leaking out like a sieve. Pulling out of here and going into the adjacent drain as well. This one again had lots of restrictions as well on backing up. And I hope you can agree, this is the front of the church. It is an absolute stunner. So, I hope today you've seen the value of ground penetrating radar, CCTV drain investigation, old buildings, Drain problems, they can be common, you know, so they need to be inspected and eliminated. But now, by spending the time, making the effort there, we can give the correct advice and the best advice that any money is being spent wisely. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon on the next one.